Natural disasters are extreme events that can strike suddenly and without warning. In 2010, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil was a victim of a series of massive floods, destroying property and claiming lives. Homes on the hillside communities, known as favelas, were most affected. The floods caused the local government and community to commit to a renewed focus on being better prepared for future natural and man-made disasters. Their first task was to locate the most serious risks inside the favelas. It was a time-intensive task that the government could not do alone. The youth-led digital mapping initiative was launched in 2011 by a team of international and local partners to meet this government need. The initiative empowers young people to locate their community's most vulnerable areas and promote collaborative action to improve them. In the program, two types of youth mapping activities are carried out and completed. First, kites are retrofitted with small cameras to photograph aerial images of their neighborhood. The high-flying, brightly colored kites are popular in Brazil, and they bring awareness and excitement amongst members of the community about the mapping program. Second, youth mappers are trained to use a child-friendly smartphone application to capture geotagged photo reports of the exact location of potential hazards, like landslide risks or sanitation issues. Reports are automatically uploaded from the app to an online map where they are reviewed, verified, and released publicly. They are then spread through social media and receive local news coverage, attracting attention and creating calls for action. These maps have led to the rebuilding of infrastructure, cleaning up of public spaces, and clearing of emergency escape routes. The young people of Rio have increased the resilience of their neighborhoods and demonstrated an effective model for using maps and collaborative action to protect critical human needs before disaster strikes. For more information on the youth-led digital mapping initiative, visit instead.org and cdaps.org.br.